question that we all have to deal with is, am I stuck? And in Isaiah chapter 43, uh, verses 18 and 19, it says this. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. I'm reading right out of the NIV. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Very important, this particular verse, because we're going to be looking at the next few weeks, a center point when it comes to this verse. You see, when we have to deal, when we deal with our denial, when we're stuck in our denial, we have to acknowledge it so we can at least start moving forward. That's what Peter did after he denied Jesus three times. He acknowledged I messed up and he was troubled and crying out there after he had denied Jesus. And then the second thing is we need to confess it. He had a conversation, Peter did with Jesus, a tough one. And Jesus continued to ask him, you know, do you love me? You know, and, and Peter would say, yes. And he would say, feed my sheep. And they had that tough conversation, a confession. And what we need to do is confess our denials, our sins, the stuff in our life. We need to confess it to God and people we could trust so we can be healed from all this. It says that in James 5, 16. Now, the middle part of this is that how do we deal with it? For the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at different characters in the Bible and how we can deal with after we acknowledge it, after we confess it, what do we need to do to deal with our anger and our bitterness and our isolation and all that kind of stuff. So then we can stop dwelling on it, as it says in Isaiah 43, 18, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. And therefore, after we get to that place, we've, we've acknowledged it. We have confessed it. We're dealing with whatever the issue is with Jesus. Then we stop dwelling in it and we can move forward and accept the victory he has in our life. See, we can overcome the addictions. We can overcome the past hurts. We can overcome the uh, anger and bitterness and, and unforgiveness in our life. That is possible, but we've got to be willing to take the steps necessary to, to deal with our denial that gets us stuck. So where is an area in your life that you feel stuck in right now during COVID-19? Look at that. Don't beat yourself up over it, but acknowledge it and then confess it to the Lord and then find someone that you can confess that to so you can find that healing and then start looking at things that you could do to get into a healthier place. See, at Celebrate Recovery, we have a whole program that's just for that. And so if there's an area that's been taking you down and you've been stuck a while, you may want to join in with Celebrate Recovery. And we'll be talking about these different characters in the next couple of weeks in our series, Stuck. And then we'll also remind you that you don't have to dwell in it and you could have victory. Don't you want victory? I know I do. Let's look at things that we can do to get unstuck. Hashtag unstuck or hashtag get unstuck so we can actually have victory in our lives. You can have it. I can have it. Let's be a church that's victorious over our denial, victorious about getting unstuck and helping others to do the same. Guys, have a great weekend. Bye.